So here's the deal, guys. If you're going to do this more, unless you want like a hundred pieces of bent silverware sitting in your house, you want to learn how to straighten these suckers out as well. But it's an interesting process because um, when, you know, you've heard of metal fatigue, uh, which is when a piece of metal is uh, like airplane wings can get metal fatigue, where something is used so much that the molecular structure is actually changed and it becomes weaker. So every single time you bend or straighten your spoon, you are changing the molecular structure. And... Um, when you bend the spoon, you feel the energy flowing. When you go to straighten the spoon, it's the same process, basically, because you're just giving the spoon permission to change. But when you change it, the molecular structure is a teeny bit different. And then when you go to bend it again, the molecular structure is a teeny bit different. So it's a good exercise and practice. And then eventually the whole thing's like, ah, you know what? I'm retired and you'll feel it. And sometimes I'll go to bend a spoon and the spoon will be like, you have been working with me too much, pick someone else. Like, it's like, it is not gonna happen with me. And then I'll go back a week later and the spoon will go, yeah, okay, we can do it now. And so um, it's a good exercise all throughout on letting you know when you wanna redefine reality and it's like, you're forcing me to redefine too much um, at this moment. Like, it, it, it's an interesting, interesting practice. Um, so we're going to take something that you bent and um, we're just going to sit with it. We're going to bring the energy into ourselves and we are going to warm it up, heat it up and give it permission to straighten. And then we're going to start straightening it. Um, my youngest son is a master. He can straighten it to the point where you would never think it had been bent. Um, which, you know, he's such a rascal. He's like, mom, what's your favorite spoon that you ever bent? I'm like, no, no, you don't. <laughs> but, um, but any of you, like, if someone you love bent your good silverware, it's good to know this technique. <laughs> like anyone with kids. <laughs> All right. So, um. Yeah. Yeah, and when we're all done, um, I would like to, like, if any of you photograph your stuff and send it to me, I'll post it on my on my website, um, the student photos. I don't put your names with it, just a picture. So you can say to people, look, I'm on a website. I got my silverware there. Um, so um, hold your spoon or fork in your hands. Give your feet permission to relax, <laughs> and you'll notice <laughs> the top of your head just naturally and automatically relaxes and opens, and your feet relax, and all the divine energy is flowing through them, and the top of your head is relaxed, receiving divine cosmic love. And you're holding your, like, good friend by now. I mean, you and this silverware have become very close. You've become one with each other, really. You have redefined reality together. This is a very special bond you share. It's a very loving, fun bond. So hold this in your hands. Invite all of the beautiful, divine, cosmic love that's flowing into you to flow down through your hands into your spoon or fork. And fill the spoon with your gratitude that the two of you are on this grand adventure together. Send a lot of energy into your spoon. Just love, gratitude, appreciation. And let your spoon know you are not forgotten. We are not done yet. We are going to continue this adventure. 
we are going to continue redefining reality again and again. Send all of your energy into the spoon. Ask the spoon to absorb and heat up. Become powerfully full of the energy. And then with appreciation and energy, start straightening your spoon. If you find you need a little help, breathe some energy into your belly to fill your belly, your chi, with fire energy. And send that fire energy to mix with all everything else into your spoon or fork. You may even feel like you want to stoke your furnace. And then like power out like you're a Marvel superhero, the human torch, and send all that energy into your fork to give it the, or spoon, the support that it needs to straighten out. (laughs) Or it might just snap. (laughs) That happens. <laughs> and you may find you need to move your fingers or your hands to certain parts to like superheat a certain part of it for something to bend. It's not enough just to send the energy through the spoon or the fork, but you may have to charge up one area to bend another area. Feel welcome to send focus to energy to any part of your silverware that needs it. Just like before, we invited our silverware to relax and change shape. Now we're inviting it to relax and unwind. Okay. And 
when you are ready, we'll return to the circle. <laughs>